So as you guys know, Nintendo is the king when it comes to dedicated handheld gaming. They've been the king since the 90s and now they're currently up to the Nintendo Switch. Sure, the Nintendo Switch is not a dedicated handheld. It's more of a hybrid system where you can play the game system on the go and you can also play the game system on your TV on a big screen, but you can still see that they're pretty much the king when it comes to dedicated handhelds and they've pretty much been the king forever. There hasn't really been too much competition when it comes to dedicated gaming handhelds, but Sony has tried in the early, in the mid 2000s, excuse me, Sony did invent the PSP, the PlayStation Portable, and I remember having a lot of fond memories of the PSP. The games on the PSP were good. The cool thing about the PSP, which Nintendo never really tried, Nintendo's when it comes to these uh, handheld gaming systems, the power just really wasn't there. So when I seen the PSP and it reminded me of like a PS2 on the go, go my mind was really blown back in the mid 2000s of how much graphical power the PSP really had. Now the PSP didn't sell groundbreaking or anything. It wasn't blowing sales numbers out the water, but it was a solid experience and a lot of people bought the PSP. You can kind of thank a lot of the sales numbers for the PSP thanks to the homebrew and hacking scene because PSP is one console that almost everybody hacked and everybody knew about and everything and they use that for emulation, pirating, everything on the PSP. That is pretty much one reason why the PSP sold so well and also thanks to the fact that it was really one of the first dedicated gaming hands, handhelds on the market that didn't just play games. It actually played movies, music, it can look at photos so it pretty much had almost like almost like cell phone type or smartphone type capabilities in the PSP. And then after Sony made the PSP, Sony wanted to make a successor to the PSP. And that successor to the PSP was the PS Vita. Now the PS Vita did not sell anywhere near the same sales figures as the 3DS. You can pretty much kind of think as, think of the PS Vita as a failure in the gaming industry. It did not do well at all. And uh, last year, Sony did announce that they weren't really going to be going into the direction of making another dedicated handheld when it comes to gaming. But that looks like with the new uh, president and everything like that, it looks like they're headed in a new direction when it comes to a gaming, uh, dedicated gaming handhelds. Uh, right now, they're actually considering in the future there is a possibility that they may make another dedicated gaming handheld or at least another handheld in some type of form, whether that be a Switch type hybrid or whether that be a strictly a dedicated console. The possibilities are still open. I think what happened was they saw the success of the Nintendo Switch and once they saw the success of the Nintendo Switch, I really think it opened up their eyes and so it really opened up Sony's eyes to the possibility of them making another handheld. Like I said, whether that be a uh, hybrid or whether that be a dedicated handheld, the, the possibilities are there because they know that there is a market for that type of system. De uh, dedicated handhelds or handhelds in some form are still popular and people will buy them if they are made right. So they're still trying to leave the doors open. And honestly, I would be down if Sony actually did end up making a uh, hybrid system like the Nintendo Switch because as you guys know, Nintendo is not known for uh, graphical power, but if Sony stepped into the game and made a hybrid system, they could actually add much more power and we'll see much more developers going over there or we'll get much more better third party support and even first party support. It would be really cool because I remember on the PS Vita we had games like Uncharted, which Uncharted is a first party exclusive uh, franchise for Sony and that was pretty cool to play that on the PS Vita. So if we're getting big block big blockbuster uh, exclusive titles on like a Sony hybrid system in the near future and a lot of AAA games which would a lot of these AAA games if Sony made a hybrid would not come to the Nintendo Switch that would actually be very cool we would be playing games like Call of Duty Battlefield potentially uh, first party first party titles like a, a good first uh, good uncharted game on the go if they made a hybrid not to say the one on the PS Vita was bad or anything like that but overall it would be a really cool idea if Sony actually did that now I'm kind of getting your guys hopes up because we don't really know the future of Sony and we don't really know if they're going to make a uh, handheld and we don't know if it would be a hybrid system or if it would be a strictly a dedicated uh, gaming uh, handheld there's really no way to know but I'm pretty sure after Sony saw the success of the Nintendo Switch they really want to try to leave the gates open for a possibility of some kind of some kind of handheld system so I can see that being an option it's just something to think about in the near future does Sony want to actually make one or does Sony not want to make one because it really just matters and as we all know the PS Vita like I said before in this video was a major flop and it pretty much 
did horribly wrong. So I wouldn't blame Sony if they did not want to make a some kind of uh, handheld in the near future. But I think they do because just looking at the Nintendo Switch sales, they kind of do want to do it if it's done right. Anyway, guys, this is Wayne from My Tech News signing out.